Hey everyone and welcome back to Live Chat University. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the WhatsApp for Business integration, how to manage connected numbers, how to set up welcome messages, and tell you about message templates. Let's do this. WhatsApp messages have an open rate of 98%, so it's no surprise that many businesses leverage this communication channel. With the Live Chat Times WhatsApp business integration, your customers can contact you via WhatsApp and your agents can respond to and handle WhatsApp chats in the Live Chat app. This provides you with all of your customer messages, whether from your website to WhatsApp or other channels you've integrated with, all in one place. Right, let's get to installing the WhatsApp for business integration. You'll need a phone number to link to WhatsApp and a Facebook or Meta business account to complete the integration. To connect live chat with WhatsApp business, open up the live chat app and go to apps, go to the search bar and type in WhatsApp, WhatsApp business, click on it. And we want to click on install. We want to click allow. Then let's go and click settings. And here we have the plans available. So we have the starter plan for smaller businesses and those who want to discover the power of WhatsApp business. Then we have the standard plan for those who are actively using WhatsApp business and the full plan for companies who want to use the full power of WhatsApp business. Now, by scrolling down, we can further compare the plans. So please take your time with this comparison and find the right plan for you. But before you click on get started and confirm your purchase, please make sure that you have your billing information and account details already set up in the billing section of the live chat app. If not, go fill it out and come back to this step. I'm going to go with the full plan and click on get started. Then we wanna click on confirm purchase. Right, that's it. Now we wanna go and click on go back. Then we want to select continue with Facebook. We want to continue if we are logged into the web browser. And we want to click on get started after going through the permissions. So here we need to choose our business portfolio. We need to fill in the information or if it's filled in automatically, that's great. And now we need to click next. So here we need to create or select a WhatsApp business account. So since I don't have one just yet, I'm gonna make sure I go with create and click next. So here we need to create our WhatsApp business profile. I'm gonna go quickly fill this in and be right back. Right, I'm gonna click next. All right, so here we have to add a phone number for our WhatsApp business account. I have my phone ready. I'm gonna put in my phone number and I'm gonna choose a phone call. Then I'm gonna click next. All right, I'm waiting for a call. Here we go. All right, let's click next. All right, so here we need to review what live chat integrations is requesting permissions to do. After you're done with that, click continue. It's going to take a while to verify your information. And that's it. So now we're gonna click finish to finish it off. All right, so here we'll find all of our connected numbers. Um, we can see the number that we just connected. We have our groups that we can change around. We have automations and we have delete. Now there's one more thing I'd like to show you. So for that, you wanna make sure that you are in apps and here on the sidebar, we have a pin. We wanna pin WhatsApp business so that later on, on our live chat sidebar, we can see it right here and we can open it up and have all of our data. Right, now let's take a look at how a chat received from a customer on WhatsApp business looks like in the live chat app. So in the chat section, the WhatsApp chats will appear on the list of chats and be assigned to agents who are online. So here's a disclaimer. 
If your agents are, let's say, offline, or you have a manual selection set up, the WhatsApp messages will appear on the list of unassigned chats. So I just wanted to let you know. All of the messages will be marked with a little WhatsApp icon next to the name of the customer. You will also be able to see the customer's WhatsApp number and the business number used to establish the conversation in Customer Insights on the right. Now, aligning with the Facebook WhatsApp policy, you have 24 hours to respond to a message. After that time, the chat will be archived and you won't be able to reply. This policy is in place to protect against spamming. All right, let's get into welcome messages. With welcome messages for WhatsApp, your customers can receive a welcome message after opening the conversation window, which contains basic information about your business and a simple welcome message. A welcome message can be configured separately for each of your business numbers. They can be added in live chat under the WhatsApp integration, in connected numbers, and automations. Here we wanna switch the toggle on and make sure it's green. And here we can edit our welcome message. We can say, hi, thank you for contacting us. How can we help you today? Or let's change this around. Hi, Kaya's store, how can we help you? Right, so let's click save. So to our number here, we have our welcome message connected. Each number can have a separate welcome message, like I mentioned. So just go into automations, switch the toggle to on, and edit it. Right, let's move on to campaigns. In order to create the campaigns within the live chat times WhatsApp integration, you need to have template messages created in Meta under Meta Business. These Meta template messages will later be the base for the campaigns within the live chat times WhatsApp integration. For more information on how to create the template messages in Meta, go to the link in the description. But for now, let me tell you what you can do with the campaigns in the live chat times WhatsApp integration. Campaigns can be sent to many customers on WhatsApp simultaneously. With just a few clicks, you can create a visually appealing message that will reach the intended recipients. You can use campaigns anytime you need to convey something to your customers. However, they perform best when used for marketing campaigns, um, informing your customers about your current promotions, sending a promo code to your best customers as well. These campaigns can easily help you boost your sales, improve your customer experience, and even outsmart the competition by using a new channel to promote your products or services. After the campaign is sent, you can check the campaign's performance. You'll find data on how many people have read your message, how many have responded to it, and a lot more. Right, now you know how to set up your WhatsApp business, how to manage connected numbers, and a whole lot more. If you have any questions, feel free to go to livechat.com and start a chat with us. Thank you for watching and see you soon.